Hi, I'm Andrea Perez Croker. I am the director of the Kaipule Ahone University of Hawaii Digital Language Archive, and I'm also a professor of linguistics at the University of Hawaii. Today I'm going to show you how to use labels in Audacity to export clips from a larger sound file. Uh, Audacity is a free audio editor that's uh, available online. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, open up Audacity here on my computer. And I want to open a, an audio file that I have. This audio file is a recording of a word list in Otomi. So we went, I went, worked with my speaker and we went through and recorded names for different kinds of animals. And so I'm going to go to the file menu. I'm going to click open. All right, and I'm going to find that file on my computer. And I'm going to open it up. Okay, and now you'll see here in the Audacity window, we have the WAV file is right here in the center. And you can see at the top left, we have a number of different uh, controls for play and pause and fast forward and rewind and record and stop, etc. All right, these work just like a regular, um, like, a re like any audio uh, interface here. Uh, in order to make uh, clips, though, what I want to do is go through and I want to label different sections of this waveform as containing different words. Uh, and then I'm going to use those labels to export individual sound clips. Okay? So right here, I know that this first section right here, I've already listened to my recording, I know that this first section is the word for cow. So I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to click and drag over that section of the audio so that it's highlighted. Okay? And then I'm going to go up to the tracks menu here and I'm going to select add label at selection. Okay? And what that does is it opens up another uh, window here at the bottom. This is where the labels go. And you see it's already created a little window there for me to add, uh, add some text. So I'm going to simply type in the word cow. Okay. And then I'm going to do the next one. And I know that this is the Otomi word for dog is being spoken here. So again, tracks, add label at selection. And then I'm going to type in the word dog in the window that opens up and so on and so forth, so forth. I'm going to keep going with this one as well. Tracks, label at selection, and this is the word for horse. Okay, so once I get all the way through my uh, audio clip, audio, uh, th through my audio file, and I label all the sections for the different words, now I'm going to export these into individual files. If I go up to the file menu again, and I select export multiple right here, all right, this window opens up, a dialog box opens up, and it's going to ask me, first of all, what format do I want to save these in? And I have a number of choices here, right? So we have AIFF, we have WAVE, we have MP3. I'm going to go ahead and stick with WAVE for now. It also is going to ask me where on my computer I want to save these to. I'm going to stick with this, um, this uh, window, right, this folder right now, okay? And then you have a couple of choices here. One is to split files based on, and you want to select labels, meaning it's going to look at these labels in the label track, and it's going to split the audio file into smaller segments. Okay, And it wants to know how we want to name the files. And I'm going to actually use the label or the track name to name the individual files. So now those are selected. I'm going to click Export. And you'll see a window pops up. It says that these three files were created cow.wave, dog.wave, horse.wave. Okay. Now I'm just going to go back to my computer and I'm going to check that folder. And you'll see that there they are. cow.wave, dog.wave, horse.wave. And so uh, now I can use these for any kind of, for example, a, an online talking dictionary that I might be making. Um, so I would recommend to you if you have a project where you need to quickly segment a longer audio file into shorter clips, that you try doing that in Audacity.